It's day one of Out of Books. I left really early for work thinking that there would be traffic because of the eclipse. No. I read the part where they canceled all of schools in the area, so all of the county schools were canceled for today. And so with all of the school traffic off the roads, it was just like normal traffic. So I'm at work like 45 minutes early. So I guess I'm gonna get some reading done while I just sort of hang out. <laughs> and today is my long day, which I'm already exhausted and don't wanna deal with, but we do have an eclipse party later this afternoon, so there's that to look forward to at least. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I wonder if I can. Song. Yeah, you could probably do that. <laughs> High tech. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> oh, that is. Today was quite long. Uh, it always, whenever we have like a meeting or something on a Monday, it always sucks because it takes away one of our breaks. So we end up having like 15 minutes for like. A nine hour day so I always feel exhausted at the end of the day but the eclipse party was fun I came home to a bunch of packages if you can see them over there two of them I'm not going to share because they're uh, for their wedding presents for my friend whose wedding I'm in in um, November they came super fast they came from two different sellers arrived on the same day and I feel like I just ordered them on Saturday so I'm pretty impressed with that this is the other thing that came it's the olive edition of Bel Canto um, it's not in the best shape I mean the olive editions are mass market paperbacks so what can you expect so it's not very pretty looking it had some stickers on it because it was from thrift books through eBay um, so the spine is, it's got a little discoloration, but I still love it and I'm okay with that. I uh, kind of obsessively collect editions of my favorite books and Bel Canto is one of my favorites. So I actually have State of Wonder by Ann Patchett um, in the same edition. So now they can go over here together. That was fun little surprise to come home to today. Um, and now I think I'm going to run a bath and settle in and just have a low key night to try to get some reading done since, you know, bout of books <laughs> started. And I have read a little bit or listened to a little bit of my audiobook, which is On Stranger Tides. Um, so I've done some reading, but yeah, here's my fluff ball who is being super affectionate right now. Hello, baby. So, well, there's that guy. I read about three chapters of this uh, while I was in the bath and it was really nice. I ended up using some essential oils um, because whew, I had a massive headache um, and kind of just felt meh. like right after um, the eclipse I had a headache and then I also uh, felt a little bit nauseous but apparently that's not unusual um, and doesn't mean you have eye damage because I didn't look at the sun I'm not an idiot uh, I wore my glasses like I was supposed to uh, but apparently just because it's so much light change on your um, on your eyes that it can still cause you to <laughs> to feel like have headaches and feel nauseous. Sorry, the cat is just like affectionately bumping me every time I try to <laughs> talk. So, um, but yeah, so I just felt kind of, uh, so I took some, um, some ibuprofen before I left work and then I used my essential oils and now I feel great. So that's good. Um, I am probably done reading this for the night, um, but then I'm going to pick up this one and read some in this 
I might, I, I impulse bought a face mask at Whole Foods the other day in the checkout line, but I might use this. I really like this brand for stuff, so I might use this tonight. I don't know, we'll see. Good Tuesday morning. I am up, not entirely awake. I have my tea and I'm gonna sneeze. Well, home from work. And I listened to about 50 pages of this on my commute, so I'm on page 88, which is pretty good. I keep doing that thing, so this movie, I mean this book was the inspiration for Pirates of the Caribbean. And while I think I've seen the entire first movie at least, I'm not sure, but I keep trying to like pinpoint what characters are which characters in the movie, and I think I'm failing. So I'm really confused by that, and I always do that, and it, it causes me confusion, um, trying to figure out who people are, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I like it though. It's very interesting and uh, fast-paced and fun, so definitely a good one. I read a little bit of um, this at work. I read one chapter and then started another one. Didn't have a whole lot of time at work to read today for sure, so um, I'm going to finish up definitely the chapter I was in the middle of of this and then probably go on to Trader's Blade. Is anybody else obsessed with um, the stickers from Bitmoji or whatever it is? Um, because I am <laughs> and I just sent this one to my husband and he told me I was gross. <laughs> I just love that one. I can't help it. I'm gross. And now it's almost 9.30 and here I am, still on the couch, um, having read the rest of that chapter in the Disneyland book and nothing else. So, failing a little bit for reading today. Um, I did, so yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I don't know. I'm not really sure what day that was. I did end up putting in my bullet journal the board from the reading quest. And I've already marked off one book, so I'm, like I said before, I'm kind of unofficially participating in that um, as well as bout of books. So I'm doing both of those things. And neither of them very well, if I'm being completely honest. I look crazy. <laughs> This is the weirdest, like, this mask feels weird. So it's the Instant Clarity Face Mask from Andalou Naturals. I bought it in the checkout line at Whole Foods, so there's that. I look all sorts of fun, and now I'm gonna fold laundry. Fun night. It's 5.45 in the afternoon and I'm just checking in for today. I have read nothing. So, so far today, Bad of Books Day 3 is uh, going real well. That's sarcasm. Um, I am about to meet my mom for dinner and then I have to go pick up Powerball tickets because my husband just keeps texting me Powerball because the Powerball is really high right now. So gotta go get those before I get home and then and then maybe I'll get some time to read tonight I really want to read some of uh, Trader's Blade because I haven't read that in a couple of days and I want to get back to it I've done the bout of books challenge today which was rainbow stack which I love making rainbow stacks of books this time I made with paperbacks and I tried to use my cat as a prop yeah, he didn't really cooperate every time I would like set the books up he would then like rub his face all over them and knock them over so that was all sorts of fun but turned out a good picture on the reading front I listened to about a hundred pages of On Stranger Tides so that I am pretty sure I'm gonna finish before the week is out which is exciting um, not really thinking I'm going to finish much else before the week is out. I'm like 30% through three of the books.
when you get up in the morning and you're really excited to make your lunch for the day because you bought really nice goat cheese at the grocery store and then you can't find it in the fridge so you go ask your husband what happened to it and he says he cleaned out the fridge because there were all these cheeses in there that had been there for months and he threw them all away two days it had been in there for two days i got to eat about this much of it it's sure thursday um, I went to Whole Foods for dinner because I didn't want to make anything when I got home. And of course I got macarons because they have them and they're delicious. So I'm excited about that. But today was kind of busy, kind of hectic. I got a lot done. But I also, and I, I learned um, some new stuff so I'm getting trained on some new things right now. and. That was really super interesting, so I'm really excited about that. And hopefully will be a avenue into what I want to do down the road. So, yeah. But today was a little bit hectic. It's been that way for the past two weeks, I feel like. Really hectic. And I, like I say I'm looking forward to it getting back to normal, but I'm pretty sure this might be my new normal. Now, my hair... <laughs> Oh goodness, is curled. Ready for tomorrow. It'll fall some before tomorrow, which is be which is good. It won't look quite so crazy. Um, one last thing I have to worry about in the morning, which is great because I don't have a whole lot of time in the mornings. Um, the cat is acting real weird, so he's over there loafing. And he keeps doing this, so he either loafs there, or he has one other place that he sits and loafs. And like, he stares in the same general direction, and I don't understand. And he seems to be shedding a little bit more, so he's stressed about something. But I don't know what he's stressed about. Weird things are happening. <laughs> so this is getting more interesting now that we're at about the halfway point I'm at uh, almost so I'm page 199 and um, the last couple of chapters were really like creepy and kind of like what the heck's going on here so definitely inter interested to see where it goes from there still not exactly what I ex expected so we'll see um, I'm hoping to get a good portion more of this red this week. I'm probably going to read some more of it right now. Pretty sure it's been like three days since I have updated, but that's pretty much how long it's been since I've read anything. Not really. I read some things in, in a couple of different books um, here and there, but nothing really substantial. So I'm not doing real great on this finished three books before the end of Bout of Books. Now my goal is to finish at least two of them, hopefully three of them, before the end of the month so that when I start the readathon book uh, on the first, I'm not starting it in the midst of reading like five other things. So yeah. Um, today I think I'm going to, so I did a clean out of the tea shelf. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I went through and cleaned out a bunch of the tea shelf and this shelf right here, so this is all of our like bag tea. This is caffeine and this is caffeine free. We really need to drink more caffeine free bagged tea. Um, this is all of my chai teas and I think in September I'm going to do a video about chai tea and all of these are going to get tried and tested and then I can decide, you know, what I like and what I can let go because of too much chai. Um, then we have our black teas down here. We end up getting rid of a few black teas and then moving some of them to uh, the shelf by the tea pot because we were kind of ignoring them. So this has gotten a little bit better. This has gotten way better. So this is like white tea, green tea, 
and we had a lot of Justin's like green teas that were on the shelf forever and we finally got rid of them because they were super stale and neither of us were reaching for them so this has gotten so much better we did move a couple of these over by the teapot too so that because we were forgetting we had them and then down here is the herbal teas this is still sort of a mess because I don't drink a lot of herbal teas but there's some of these that were like this would be great iced and then just we have a lot of herbal teas. I have um, quite a few matcha teas that I haven't tried. So I think this morning I'm gonna use our milk frother and make a green tea latte and see how it goes. Cause I don't reach for the matchas because I it's a lot of work, but I'm thinking the milk frother might be a good idea. And now the cats are very hungry and waiting for their breakfast. So I should feed them now. Okay, so this actually turned out really well. So properly frothed, also good. So this is actually the first time I've tried the Novelty Tens um, Matcha Do About Nothing, and I like it. It's it's a good matcha, and um, I added a little bit of maple syrup, ooh, <laughs> maple syrup to the frother as well to give it a little sweetness, and it seems to be pretty. Perfect. When you're trying to read, your cat's sitting on your books. Simon. Well, I finally finished a book. So I finished On Stranger Tides, and um, I was listening to this on audiobook, and it was pretty good. It was one of those books that is not really my thing. This is a book that Justin actually got when we did Blind Date with a book, and he really enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm just not super into pirate stories. It's a little gruesome and um, detailed as far as the gruesome things go for my taste. So if you like pirate stories, I would absolutely recommend this one. This is actually the book that um, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie On Stranger Tide was based sort of on this loosely. So. It was interesting and book on my shelf that's an actual book to movie adaptation or you know a book that there is a, a movie adaptation of which I've been trying to find all year and this has been sitting on my bookshelf for like two years so this met a challenge for the reading quest it also met one of the challenge one of the four challenges I still have left for the Muse Monthly uh, reading thing challenge for the year so also it seems that a storm is rolling in earlier today there was no thunder no rain clouds nothing it was just bright and sunny and then our power surged off and on and off and on like four times i was playing the sims and i was like super invested in my character but i hadn't saved it at all and the power went out so it's gone <laughs> that's okay because i think i would have been playing the sims for like hours still and it's Sunday and I need to get some stuff done <laughs> before I have to go to sleep to get up and get my week started again so it's probably a good thing that that happened because I would still be playing The Sims right now if it hadn't but I did like I said I finished on Stranger Tides listening to the audiobook now I have to decide what audiobook I'm going to go on to. I think I might go on to Rumi's because my library has it. For some reason, I don't know why, I thought that was a graphic novel, but I guess it's not. And so I have the audiobook of it. So we'll see if I decide to listen to that or if I do decide to go on to Assassin's Fate, Fool's Assassin, Fool's Assassin. Fool's Quest. I don't know. The first one in the Fits in the Fool trilogy that is the end of the Realm of the Elderlings arc. I can't decide if I want to do it. I want to start it yet. Um, or if I want to... I don't know. I can't decide. I really can't. I made a spreadsheet of all of the physical books I own that my library or Scribd has on audiobook. And... I really should pull from those since I am trying to read more things off my shelf and I don't actually own roomies. But I don't know. I can't decide. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this evening. I will probably get a little bit of reading done. I read more in the Essex Serpent, so I'm now officially past halfway. 
And then I am pretty close to being done with this. If I'm being honest, like the first couple of chapters to this were really good. And then it sort of went downhill after that. So I'm not super loving this anymore, which is what's making it sort of hard to continue reading it. They spent a lot of time talking about like the one part of this I really could have cared less about was one of the bigger chapters. So that was really annoying. But yes, yeah, so I've only got a few more chapters and I think like 40 pages or so left. So we'll get there.